people now think that this is King Charles III and indeed the Prince of Wales' biggest mistake so far, following the sad demise of our wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to have your company today. And as ever, I hope you're keeping well. It's a busy time, as we now know, because the Prince and Princess of Wales have arrived in Boston, in the wonderful place that is the United States. What a welcome that they've had so far. And of course, everybody's talking about what Catherine's wearing naturally. She looks incredibly beautiful as ever. And of course, what they're hoping on this particular visit, that the focus is truly on uh, their point of visit, which is Earthshot. We told you about it. We we were lucky enough to attend it last September at the newly restored Alexandra Palace. This time around in America, they're going to a wonderful venue, the MGM Music Hall, no less. It's nice, isn't it, when they keep older names in the title as well. I like the fact that when you look back at the MGM brand, it's been going over a hundred years and started by three wonderful, great entrepreneurs who seemingly changed the face, sound and vision, of course, of moviegoers around the world. I'll let you check into that yourself. But it's this particular story that's changing the direction of that particular tour. And as ever, I'd love to know your thoughts about this in the comments below. As we now know, sadly, uh, following a bit of an altercation, shall we say, putting it mildly, uh, after a particular individual who was lucky and honoured enough to attend an event at Buckingham Palace, they decided to share all of this information of miscommunication on social media. Very swiftly, uh, Buckingham Palace announced that Lady Susan Hussey, the godmother to the Prince of Wales, had promptly resigned. But now the backlash has started, and as ever, let me explain the reason behind this. If you think about it, in the time of our late and wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, there would have been a moment of reflection, a time to sit back and think and decide whether or not, you know, as she famously said, recollections may vary. And what's emerging is, as ever, as I've often said here on the show, there are two sides to every single story. But as ever, some people just want to take the one side. But now there's a momentum building up between uh, King Charles III and, of course, the Prince of Wales, seemingly because many people over here feel that they reacted too swiftly without receiving both sides of the story. Now, if you look at it in the perspective of Lady Susan, she's an 83-year-old lady, been in the royal court for decades, never put a foot wrong, was a great aid and admirer and support to our late and wonderful monarch. So many people are suggesting that, of course, King Charles was rather swift not to, in fact, let's go into an investigation mode, let's primply accept her resignation, move on and hope that this will shut it down. Well, as we're seeing now over the next couple of days, it's simply not going away because the bottom line looks that they're both running scared. That's the idea. That's the perception over here in the mainstream media. Now, on a personal level, I would have thought that they should have undertaken the plot given by the late monarch. Let's have a moment of reflection. Let's sit down. Let's get both sides of the story. It's interesting to note also that uh, yesterday, the lady in question who made these allegations claims that no one from Buckingham Palace made contact with her. The reason for that is she was very busy with the mainstream media, making sure that she got her 15 minutes of fame, talking to anyone who wished, of course, to interview her. Very tricky, in fact, then, for the palace to get a one-to-one -one conversation. And no doubt very concerned also that that particular conversation would then not be broadcast and shared on social media, as one can expect. But the bottom line is, did the King and the Prince of Wales react too swiftly? Is it the wrong decision? Do you agree with it? Should they have taken a moment of reflection? As ever, only time will tell whether they've made the right move on this particular call. Seemingly all started, when you think about it, way back with that sit down with the former royals known as Harry and Meghan. Whichever way you look at it, they never had these problems until that particular interview aired. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.